assalamu alaikum students welcome to the session uh, lecture number 2 on the topic word from page 43 to 46 so before i try to proceed to this chapter so first of all i would like to update you about the previous highlights in the last lecture we focused on frank palmer's important points there were the three points if writing has words what about speech second written words are defined by spaces between them but speech showed no breaks or spaces they only showed some stretches low and high number 3 words of written language are not purely convention because the system of spaces belongs to roman tradition but greek scholar plato in his work it did not show any space but uh, the words are treated or they were called as items in the previous chapter so this curiosity led uh, Fr uh frank palmer to further explore uh certain approaches uh which are found in uh, various settings to find an exact definition of the word so let's see what are those three approaches his questions are very objective so the first approach he wants to see is through the semantic second is phonetic and phonological approach and third is linguistic approach in today's lecture we are going to understand how a semantic approach has been uh justified in defining the word so word is considered to be a linguistic unit and has a single meaning but again there is a weakness in this definition because what is meant by a single meaning because one word may have not a single meaning but more than two meanings it has been shown here i am going to directly uh i take you to the examples so that you might understand instead of uh, getting lost in the text i am going to explain it uh, very clearly so that you may be well confident about the idea so there may be two or more bits of meaning in one word how or in a single word sing has a single meaning if sing has a single meaning then what about singer because word singer uh, in its concept it takes three words one who sings so these three words show that it does not offer any single meaning but one as a quantity who as a relation a relative pronoun and sings a person who performs this action so these are three words and then saying and sing and relating to the uh, past tense or time then there is another word which is sheep so the word sheep is again there are some certain lamb eve ram they belong to the same species of animal which is called sheep similarly i mean the meaning baby mother mother sheep or father sheep so next 
Similarly, elephant cough, elephant cow, elephant bull. So these examples are enough to understand. So let me uh, highlight some more. Even some of the objects which may be very familiar, still there are some discrepancies. It means there are some certain issues, problems. So we have to use two words to distinguish. I mean, instead of using one word as a linguistic unit, sometimes we need to use two words to describe a single meaning. For instance, passenger train with goods train. So the train is a single, but it is not clear unless and until it is associated with either it is a passenger train or a goods train. Similarly, in vehicle, in the word vehicle, there are the other, you know, two more, bus and lorry. So, the most important, uh, you know, quotations which have been given here, Eskimo has four words for different kind of snow. And Bedouin, the Arab, uh, you know, people, Bedouin has many words to describe uh, camel, maybe small camel and different uh, breed of the camel, something to translate these into English. Next. From, you know, contrary to this, from opposite of this, it is not uh, always possible that uh, to assign a meaning or a set of meaning to a single word. Sometimes it doesn't happen. For instance, the meaning of put up with. So apparently these are three words, but they show single meaning. Put up with, it is a phrase. It is an idiomatic phrase, or you can say this is an expression. For instance, it cannot be stated in terms of individual meaning. Because individual meaning means put cannot be taken as an individual meaning, up cannot be taken as an individual meaning, with cannot be taken as an individual meaning. But in different contexts, they do have individual meanings. But here, as a phrase, they show one meaning. So each word doesn't show different type of meanings. Similarly, these are called phrases. So this is done. Next. Other examples are like artificial florist, criminal lawyer, and uh, similarly, it may be broken into two, uh, you know, uh, parts, smoke, smoker, artificial, floor, florist, criminal, law, or criminal, lawyer. Lawyer is a person who practices law and similarly this is the uh, semantic understanding about trying to find the definition of a word but it suffers uh, that I mean it shows some defects it is not perfect it is an inexact as has been uh, said by uh, Frank Palmer. This is the semantic definition and in the next we are going to focus on phonetic definition.